Hi, I'm Charlene Laney, co-founder of Newmaker Financial and certified financial planner. Today, what we'll be talking about is the top four things we recommend you do in order to take care of yourself as you're going through any sort of difficult life transition, whether it be loss of a spouse, loss of a parent, or going through a divorce. Now, item number one is that you'll want to make sure you lean on your your team. Um, and so the team, as we've discussed in other videos, is people such as certainly professionals that you've hired, um, but specifically counselors, therapists, highly recommend that you get one for yourself um, as you make this transition in life. Of course, you want to have a, a few really close friends that you know you can lean on during this time, people that you know you can trust, and really just being able to articulate to them what your needs are day to day, whether that be hey, I just need a little bit more support today. Would you mind just being physically present with me as we go to watch a movie? Um, or maybe you are articulating to your close friends that, hey, I just need someone to listen as I talk through all of this um, and recognizing that we don't always need solutions. Sometimes we just need comfort from the people that we know and love. So that's item number one. Number two is to rediscover the things that bring you joy as an individual. Now I know it's often the case um, in our longer term relationships that we tend to have our habits and our hobbies really wrapped into what you like to do as a couple with the other person. And all of us certainly have things that we love to do as individuals. So go out and take that painting class, take that dancing class, uh, maybe do something that you've always wanted to do that um, it has just never happened or you've never had the opportunity to do until now, uh, maybe doing some volunteering. But whatever that is for you, it will really help you to not just distract yourself and, and keep your mind busy, which is an important element of getting through this, um, but also to help you see the future as something that's exciting again, because you'll have more things to look forward to, more things that make you happy day to day, even if it's on an intermittent basis. Um, so that's item number two, rediscover the things that bring you joy as an individual or discover them for the first time even. <laughs> now the third thing is to really work on your physical space. And of course this is at your own pace. I recognize that when you have lost a spouse um, in one way or another that it can be challenging to make these changes to the physical space because it, it really makes either their death or the loss of the relationship feel real and that in itself is is such a burden to carry and is is such a weight to feel on you however <laughs> it is very important that you change what your space looks like and that you make it your own it's very important that the space feels sacred that the space feels peaceful and that there are as few things as possible that are going to remind you or, or re-trigger the feelings of, of loss of the relationship or loss of the spouse. And so the sooner you can do that, and of course it is at your own pace, but the sooner you can do that, the easier things will feel more frequently <laughs> um, to transition into this new chapter. That's number three. And finally is number four, which is simply to take it easy on yourself. Have some compassion for what you're going through. Recognize that there is no set timeline, there's no set deadline on you quote unquote getting over this because you very well may never get over it and that's okay too. Um, so just you know, know that the grief will continue to come in waves and some days you're going to be feeling great and some days you're going to be feeling not so great and that's that's all okay that's all part of it the only way to uh, move forward with this is to move through it and um, and know that you have lots of support around you 
So that has been the top four things we recommend to take care of yourself as you go through divorce, loss of a spouse, or loss of a parent. Um, so glad to have you here with us. Let us know what we can do to help. Thanks.